Hi guys. Cat. Assalamualaikum and hi guys. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to share with you behind the scene of my previous vlog uh, titled Socially Connected. Have you watched it? Dah pernah tengok? Tak pernah tengok? Kena tengok. Go to this link here. I'll wait. I'll wait. Take your time. Okay, good. You're back. Get tengok. How was it? Okay. Thumbs up lah. Click like. Subscribe. Okay, in general, when I produce my vlog, there are three parts. The first one is pre-production. Pre-production here means I need to do some research on the content that I want to create or I want to on the topic that I want to share with you. The second part is the production. Production, it means that the day I want to shoot this vlog, what are the, how do I set up the lighting, the camera, and the scene, where I want to shoot, what are the things that I want to shoot, etc. And the final part is post-production. Post-production is the final process in producing my vlog where I need to do some editing, to do color grading, sound effects, sound design, background music, and publish it to YouTube. In general, there are three parts that involve whenever I produce my vlog. Okay, so let's go to the first part, uh, pre-production. For socially connected vlog, it was inspired by one of the vlog from Meti Hapoyas. So dalam vlog tu, dia ada cerita, dia ada share what are the experience, uh, what are the things uh, they are facing uh, related to the current situation with COVID-19. So I changed to a different concept where I reach out to my friends and ask them to shoot a video and I give them a guideline what are the things that need to be in that video. So basically the first one is uh, to introduce themselves, the second part to share their experience, how the current situation impacted their life and, and the third one is what are their hopes for this situation and finally I ask them to say hashtag kita jaga kita. I ask them to film a very short video, uh, paling lama pun 3 minit and some of them they are very very contentful they are very banyak content banyak sharing yang orang share uh, some of them exceeded that time but i think uh, the more the better because i have a lot of room to play during the uh, post production to me in that video it's not about what i'm going to say to you i just want to share what are others experience throughout this pandemic so I decided not to say a single word because uh, to me it's not about me, the video is not about me but it's about them and it's about you. Then I shoot a scene where I open up my laptop and then start watching the video and it ended with me closing the laptop and move away from the table. To these six people, the message that they shared with with us, with you, is very powerful because this is coming from them. This is the real message from the real people. Ada di antara mereka ahli perniagaan, uh, macam mana business mereka impacted due to this pandemic. Ada juga uh, one of my friend, uh, anak stranded dekat kampung because uh, of the MCO or PKP we have our own set of challenges. So these are the things that I want to share with you guys because I know this is something real. So whatever the challenges that was thrown to us is not meant to break us, but it's meant to make us stronger. Dengan syarat, we need to face it. We need to confront it so that we can come out stronger. Uh, Post-production is quite, um, Agak lama juga for me lah, for me agak lama. I think uh, if I accumulate all the hours that I used to do the editing, uh, it took me almost 24 hours 
this is the interesting part. I edited uh, my short film on Samsung Galaxy Note 9 using KineMaster software. When you use a mobile application to do the editing, there is a limitation, especially when, when it comes to the number of layers yang you boleh guna during the editing itself. So, untuk make it uh, easier for me to manage all those clips during the post-production, I break it into three projects. The first one is on the intro part, where I... Kalau boleh tengok, kalau, kalau dah tengok video tu, nak tengok lagi? Okay, okay. Go here, go here. So, dalam video tu, dia ada tiga part. I break it into three projects. The first one is on the intro part. The second one is on the content. And the third one is on the closing. At first, I tried to make everything into one single project. But then again, uh, it very difficult to manage the clips in one single project on a very small screen. After I completed the editing of every project, I will export into a MP4 file so that I can use the clip into my new uh, project to combine all these three uh, different clips. So basically, in that clips, I don't put any music, background, any background music. What I did was I just, I think I just do the color grading for every clip code. I think content is one thing when it comes to that kind of short film. Another important part is the background music. So I need a music that can uh, set the mood of short film. It's not a happy, happy, happy music because that is not the message that I want to convey. This is not something happy. Kenapa bukan benda happy pun pandemic ni. This is something, benda yang serious. Impacted everyone. So music plays a very important part to set the mood for my short film. So that's another challenge lah nak dapatkan the right music and most of the time I use the music from thematic.com it's a free uh, music you can go there register as a creator and then download the music and then you just give the credit in your description for the music that you use so yeah that's another challenge lah nak dapatkan the right music to be frank, I really, really satisfied with my project. Although I know it can be improved, but I think I am very, very satisfied. That was my first short film. And it really, really uh, inspires me to create more short films. Cuma to produce uh, that kind of uh, content, you need to have a lot of preparation uh, the pre-production part so it needs to be very solid it's not something yang you can just buat macam tu je because a lot of things that need to be considered lah. especially when you need to get the cooperation from other people um, definitely I'm going to have another project cuma I tak tahu lagi apa dia okay if you have any idea or if you have any suggestions, put it in the comment below. I think that's about it. Show some love by clicking the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and, and don't forget to ring the bell so that you will be notified for my next vlog. Till then, bye.